We have clear skies and warm temperatures here at Squaw Valley, California for this weekend of World Cup ski racing. Squaw Valley is the last stop on the tour for this season. And we have a close race for the downhill title. Competitors from 15 countries will compete today in this non-stop event, which can be described as just a warm-up for tomorrow's final. Today, the racers will have the opportunity to check out this downhill course and test various wax combinations for tomorrow afternoon's final. Right now on course is young Hans Steinmark. He's a hopeful on the Swiss team who was brought here especially from the B team for this event. Boys, this is a great day. I get to watch some of the best skiers in the world compete in the World Cup downhill, and you get to watch me. Ralph, come on. It was the suit. It wasn't you. You never skied that way before in your life. I don't think anybody has. And I think I'm going to collapse. Now, can we take it easy? Well, I'm just having fun on the old boards, you know? It was the suit, Ralph. It was not the suit, Pam. We don't know that the suit can ski. Then why are you wearing it? Because it keeps me warm, all right? Oh, Do you know how much ski clothes cost today? Tell me about it. Well, I'm saving up for my Jaguar. Oh, yeah, the Jag. Don't start that now. Come on, you know, my station wagon is all beat to heck, and a Jaguar's a good car. Hey, hon, I think it's terrific. I've always wanted to date a guy who drove a Jaguar. All right, sold. I buy it. A little bit of guilt never hurt anybody. Don't tell that to my mother. She'll think she wasted her life. You know, if I would have started skiing sooner, I probably could have competed in the Olympics. Come on, let's go. I'll meet you at the lift line. Here I am. All alone, high on a mountain, in a world that's all my own. No goodbyes, no hellos, just following my heart to where it goes. Here I am, running free. Destination, there's no place I've got to be. I'll ride the wind, I'll sail the snow, just following my heart to where it goes. And I feel like I'm the last man in the world. I'm the first man. I am an eagle on the wings of the sky, free to fly, free to fly. Got it, come in. Off. I move to position. Good. Templeton, C team, second seed, number 64. Yeah. Hey, mister, you on the US ski team or something? Well, uh... So maybe there's a little bit of a suit, you know? Hinkley! Hey, Ralph Hinkley! Samantha! What are you doing here? Oh, you doing, hey. oh so good, good to see you! Nice to see you, too. Oh, Pam, this is Samantha. Samantha Price. Yeah. Ralph um, has told me a lot about you. 
What are you doing up here? Hey, I live up here. You do? Yeah, I moved up here three years ago after we closed the free store. Oh, no, you didn't close it, did you? Yeah, I ran out of hippie. Yeah, and then after that, you know, I was tired of the barter thing, and so then we got into uh, the environmental movement here. Come on up here. Come on up here. Oh, okay, you don't mind if she rides with me, do you? Oh, you can catch a single chair. Ralph! Single? Yeah. Yuri Pichernik, number 18, is our next racer. And he's certainly one of the favorites for tomorrow's final downhill. Pichernik is the captain of the Czechoslovakian team and considered to be one of the world's finest downhill specials. Have a good one, Yuri. Oh, now look at that. You talk about sportsmanship? American racer Scotty Templeton's going over to wish his rival Yuri Pichernik good luck. giant slalom yesterday, and I'm sure she's pulling for Yuri. Yuri Pichernik is in the starting gate, and he's off with a strong kick. Pichernik is known for his powerful starts. He's handling the upper sections very nicely. Pichernik riding his skis very well. Oh, a fine line around that big left-hand turn. I am in position. Good. Templeton, he start sixth. And he gets air off of the compression. That's one of the trickiest sections. But Pichernik's wild style seems to suit this downhill course. Pichernik has the fastest midway time so far today. It looks like he'll be tough to beat. America's hope Scotty Templeton, who will be coming up shortly, better be on his skis this afternoon, because that Pichernik is real hot. What a finish. Yuri Pichernik has the fastest overall time on the course so far today. <laughs> now, wait a minute. Now, that's funny. Pichernik is walking off towards his team's locker room. Well, he's usually very willing to talk to the press after a non-stop. <laughs> but then again, if Anna Kuriena is waiting to congratulate him, I guess you can't believe him. Yuri! Anna, you, you, you did it! Right did you see it? Yes. We'll be back you on the Czech National Too much. Hey, hey, what do you say? We drinks later at the lodge, all right? Great. Sounds terrific. Catch okay. you later. Bye-bye. Where's little Miss Movement off to? Counting trees, huh? <laughs> she is a real jewel, I tell you what. American downhill specialist Scotty Templeton is in the starting gate. And he's off. That looks like a good start for this young American hopeful, and I'm sure he'd like to win a medal here on his home soil. Scotty's handling the cost nicely. Oh! Looks like Scotty caught an edge as he passed under the finish line. Well, I hope he's going to be all right. Oh, my God, I think someone shot him. What are you gonna do? I'll see what I can do. I want you to stay here.
you want to know how I did that? Yeah! Uh, beats me. Squaw Valley? Gee, kid, I wish you could uh, clear these little joints with me before you leave our operational zone. You gave me the weekend off, Uncle Bill. <clears throat> I didn't know that I needed a pass to get out of town. Now, wait a minute, listen to me. I saw a kid get shot up here. Now, I tried to report it, and the local authorities up here are treating me like some kind of a crackpot. They're trying to tell me that it was a heart attack or something. Bill, it was not a heart attack. I saw this kid. Get shot. Are you sure? Yes, I'm positive. I was wearing the suit. You were skiing with the uh, what you call it on? Yes, I was skiing with the what you call it on. It keeps me warm. Okay, I'll be up on the next available flight. Run Hinkley and wire this report to LA headquarters. Tell them to put a flag on it and get back to me pronto. Yes. An entire meal and a mouthful. I feel like an astronaut. Maybe you should try fasting. Read it and sign it. Heart attack? Heart attack? It did happen. Oh, come on. This man did not die from a heart attack. Looks like it might have been congenital. You know, he probably overtrained. So I would appreciate it if you would keep what you think you saw just between us. Otherwise, I might have to put you on a plane to DC with a booking sheet pinned to your shirt. On what charge? Felony troublemaking. How's that sound? Sounds like the 60s to me. Well, you're clean, Mr. Hinckley. But I'm not above fabricating something. You get my drift? Where do you come off insinuating okay, that... Okay, Ralph. Now, look, Mr. Blandon, Ralph is not a crackpot. Now, if he said someone shot that racer, then someone shot him. Don't you care? I get paid to care, sweetheart. That's why I want you to leave the law enforcement thing to me and the local talent. Hinckley, why don't you take those things home and feed them? They look hungry. Clever. Probably a cover-up. You know, keep the information away from the people. Typical CIA tactics. But I'm sure, as a public defender, Pam, that you run into it all the time. I'm not exactly a public defender, Sam. Storefront? Civil liberties what? Corporate. Oh. Sounds like a downer. Hot spiced wine? Uh, do you have any bottled water? You don't drink. Well, the body's a temple, Pam, and I try to keep mine as toxic-free as possible. Quality of life and all, you know. Oh. When is Bill gonna get here, huh? Soon. You know, I cannot wait to meet him. Templeton's death could be a political assassination. And I have some heavy-duty friends with the underground press that could really blow the cover off this thing. Wait a minute, Sam. Nobody said anything about a political assassination. Hey, you don't have to be a weatherman to know which way the wind blows, right? Anyway, I hope the brother from L.A. can help us cut through some of this bureaucracy. There's more of a friend, actually. like seal skin boots. That's an endangered species, Ralph. Damn, these are not real seal skin. Endangered naga hide, maybe, but uh, that's about it. There you go, Ralph. Ralph, don't hog all the fire. Let me in there. Oh, about time you got here? Oh, yeah, boy. Finally. Gee, whiz, I should have requisitioned some foul weather gear out there. Boy, it's freezing and the drifts are 10 feet deep. How you doing, counselor? Good, Bill, good. Bill, I'd like you to meet Samantha Bryce. Miss Bryce, Bill Maxwell, FBI Los Angeles. Yeah. Uh, you eyewitness to the incident, or uh, uh, POSSLQ to the deceased, uh, local fuzz, uh, what you handle? Oh, good friend. Oh, well, all right. It's nice to meet you anyhow. Well, I see you finally sprung for the seal skin booties you wanted, Ralph. Uh, they're not real seal skin, Bill. They're fake. Samantha, really, these are recycled fur. Go great with a Jaguar, anyhow. Jaguar? Ralph, you're not gonna get a Jaguar coat, are you? Yeah, no, you don't wear it, honey. You drive it. It's a little red job. Pass anything except a gas station. <laughs> what? I love the color red. It's your best color, Ralph. Well, see, I've been telling you now, the system is finally starting to pay off for you. Oh, yeah. Supply-side economics. Gonna put this country back on top where it belongs. Now, let's uh, just <clears throat> thaw out here for another couple of minutes, then we'll uh, run the scenario under the old scanner and uh, see how bad it stinks. 
come on. Don't they have something with some teeth in it? The body's a temple, Bill. It is? Oh. Well, if I said a prayer, could I get some teeth in it? Come on, Ralph. Say he was shot, which means we've got to cover up, or we could be looking down a pipe at a political assassination. Wait a minute. Bill, that's the guy I talked to this morning. What? Detroit, Michigan. 20 below on a Tuesday night, eating cold pizza out of a paper box, waiting for Johnny the Dancer to make a move. CIA is tough, the FBI is mean. Their trouble is our trouble because we're on the same team. <laughs> Bobo Blandon. Wow, Billy Maxwell. What are you doing up here? I'm working on my tan. Bobo the Boo Boo Blandon. Boy, this is great. You look terrific. Well, I'm sweating down to my annual. Look at you. I heard you were working out of L.A. Well, you know, uh, wherever the smoke is going up. Uh, you two know each other? You guys know each other? You guys know each other? Is Hinkley with you, Bill? Yeah, sure is. I told you to back off, kid. But you wouldn't call the feds up here on this, right? Uh, Bill, this is the guy I talked to this afternoon when I saw Templeton get shot. Oh, boy, yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. And I sent him home with a warning. But if he keeps sticking his beak in the blender, I'm going to turn it on. High speed. What? Well, no, wait a second, Bo. Just, just simmer down a little bit. Now, this Hinkley is my bird dog. Got a dynamite nose. He turns up something nasty, he brings it to the old man. It's an eyes only, Bill. So long. Yeah, because if I'd have known it was you on a case, Fred, I'd have phoned it in. I would have really, no kidding. But uh, now you really got my switchboard all lit up over here. Come on, fill me in. Maybe I can help. You know, you're really getting me steamed, Bill, so why don't you take your bird dog and get out of my jurisdiction? Mr. Blandon, when I saw Scott Templeton get shot this afternoon, I did what any good citizen would do. I went to the proper authorities. <clears throat> In other words, Fred, when you gave me the yawn on the Templeton slap, I sparked Maxwell. <laughs> no, does this kid have potential or what? Come on, Paul. Maybe, but this isn't Detroit, Bill. I don't need a soap job. We're not working together up here. This is strictly committee business. If we turn it into a party, we're going to blow it. Trust me. Trust you, trust me. Just fill me in, that's all. Well, you're going to catch pneumonia up here running around like that, so... Here, take these. I just want to help. I just want a pizza. We all have to make sacrifices, Bill. If I need you, I'll call you. Now, Blandon is a senior liaison member of the committee. What committee? Well, a committee. Uh, it's a special arm of the CIA. It takes care of the real bad stuff, deep sleepers, assassins, uh, you know, terrorism like that. Uh, he's real high up in there, so, uh, hey, listen, if he needs cover, he knows he can call on old Dr. Maxwell. Wait a minute. I'm starting to get something here, Bill. Me too. Pneumonia. What do you got? It's your friend Blandon. Who is it? He's at the locker room. He's in trouble. Let's go. Okay. You and your Jesse James fixation. Okay, okay. FBI, open up! Take it out, Ralph. Where is he? They're all locked. Ralph, what's in them? All of them. Right there. Report back on Maxwell's ID. Yes, sir, he's a Fed. L.A. Bureau confirmed. His operational field office is L.A. This other guy? Ralph Hinckley, school teacher, L.A. district, special ed or something. Says he's here on a ski trip. That's terrific. 
Got an off-duty fed and a shop teacher making like Dick Tracy. Well, let's go see him. I wonder which one's the fed. You can't tell? Visual scanner's on a blink, huh? No, I can tell now. Bring him in the other room, Weber. Ralph, let's go drop this guy in a deep drift. Agent Bill Maxwell, FBI, Los Angeles. We've got all that on the printout, Maxwell. Why don't you uh, take a chair right there? Where will I take it? Just trying to be friendly. No, oh, don't. I thought you guys were supposed to be uh, on the same team, you know, birds of a feather. Mr. Hinckley, if you want to talk, I wish you'd raise your hand. That goes for you, too, Maxwell. Uh, looks like we got one of the real song and dance men from the CIA charm school, Ralph. No! Hey, 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 hey! That's about it, buddy. I don't have to put up with this anymore. Now, I'm gonna start... Start taking names, Ralph. Yeah, what's your name? And, and give me your badge number, too, all right? Damage control officer, right? Okay, last name first, hotshot. Spell it. Klein. Robert Allen. Senior damage control officer for the committee. Two T's, two E's. Oh, boy. That Robert Allen Klein, huh? OK. Nice to meet you, sir. Well, well, Mr. Klein. Let me tell you something. Ralph. Now, listen, buddy. We've been trying to be real nice to you. You got a dead CIA agent. You got a dead skier. Ralph, and what please, we're trying to do here, Bill, please, I'm on a roll. Let me easy. talk to him, all right? You know how you get kids to do are. Ralph, now, let me this is Robert Allen Klein. Bill, I don't care if the guy knows James Bond. He can at least be polite. He is James Bond, Ralph. Can you get that? Now put a lid on it before I wind up working in a parking lot. Are you two finished? Yeah. Well, then let me lay this out for you, Hinckley. You and Maxwell here are going to leave this town and quit poking around in this business, or I'm going to have you shipped down to L.A. and charged with Agent Blandon's murder. He can't. You can't make that stick. I don't care. It'll keep you out of my zone of operation for 48 hours. Mr. Klein, we're just trying to do the job. Templeton gets hit. And Hinkley calls me in, and, uh, well, then Blandon backs me off, but I think that's okay because uh, he's a pro. And if he needs uh, help, I can always fly high cover for him, but then he gets hit. Templeton died of a heart attack. Blandon had a stroke. He was overweight. It happens. Now, you two are going to swallow that, or I'm going to write you up. Got it? Works for me, Ralph. Let's go make some snowballs and put them in a the fridge for summertime. Get so angry, Bill. These guys treat us like we're a couple of amateurs, and we're the only two people up here to crack this thing. Yeah. CIA stands for creeps in action. If they just open up with the info, we crack this thing like an Easter egg. Bingo. What? I, uh, I sneak in there and eavesdrop a little bit, perform a little magic, make like a fly on the wall. I'm sure Klein is unraveling this whole scenario right now. Whoa. Hot sickening. That's a green idea, Ralph. <laughs> You're making me feel like a proud daddy here. Thanks. Oh, no, no, no. Thank the suit. Bye. <laughs> Interviewing agent Jim Weber. Looks like we might have a little weather moving in. It's starting to blow. Let's get this done, Jim. Well, according to Blandon, Templeton had been receiving information from an agent on one of the comedy ski teams. We don't know which team, though. No, sir, we don't. But there's a strong possibility that Blandon knew. Why? Well, after Templeton was killed, he took his place and tried to make contact with the communist liaison. So we don't know whether the information's been passed yet or even who was trying to pass it. Exactly. Any idea what was being passed? Probably defense data, missile silo locations, uh, updated communist block, first strike capabilities, things of that sort. Search and secure Templeton's room. I want his belongings sent to the lab. Tell them to rip apart every seam. At this point, we're looking for anything, from microfilm to uh, matchbook covers. Did you guys take apart his ski gear yet? Not yet. It's locked up in a ski patrol med center. Well, get it. There may be something there. Yes, And sir. then, I want you to go over to Agent Maxwell's and his friends. You go to that lodge. They haven't checked out of that place. I want you to bust them. You got enough problems without the Little League uh, stirring up the dirt, huh? We gotta get over to that check ski room. The CIA guys are on the way. Are you in? 
Yeah. Yeah, I'm in. Okay, well, yeah, but you have to get and get out of there because we got company here. I have Templeton skis, Bill, but I'm getting zilch. Well, there's no time. Come on, get out. Very nice of you, Sam. Hey, no problem. One people, one planet. Ralph's a brother, and if he and his friends need to crash underground, they can crash here. Right on. Uh, you want some tea? Coffee. Tea? Right on. Did you really march on Washington, Samantha? Absolutely. It was all part of what was happening at the time. It was an historic moment, Pam. Tens of thousands of people pitted against the bureaucracy, struggling to further the future of freedom. Tent city springing out of the mud, sisters and brothers sharing ideologies. It was fantastic. I get it. Hello, hello, hello. Did you get our luggage? Yes, I did, and they charged us for an extra day. Now, what? don't worry about it, counselor. I'm going to tack it on to the CIA's bill. <laughs> What's burning? Ralph? What? I know that smell. It's incense, Bill. Incense. Yeah, don't kid me. That's why they burn that stuff. <laughs> Sam, thanks for letting us stay here. We appreciate oh, it. Oh, no problem. Is that coffee that I smell? Cup of crank. It really bring me to life. Oh, uh, tea. I don't have coffee. It reverses spiritual polarization. Oh, well, we wouldn't want that to happen, would we? Uh, Ralph, why don't we grab a little privacy here? Yeah, is that all right? We use the bedroom? Hey, no secrets. I, I don't believe in secrets. We're all part of the same consciousness. Well, I was just going to change my pants, honey. Uh, and Ralph was going to pull my shoes off because, uh... Yeah, it's an old polo injury. Can't bend over. Okay? All right. Okay. She's just, you know... Polo? Yeah. Samantha, do you play this thing? Oh, I wish. That was a gift from Ravi Shankar. I got it when I was a roadie for George Harrison on his last U.S. tour. You know George Harrison? Well, not exactly, but uh, I studied with the same guru for a while. Oh. What's that? Oi, noich in Sprelnovich, unade de karelna pernech, duda, duda, duda. Okay, you don't get smart. Well, Bill, I'm an English teacher, all right? And the soup does not spreck and see Jack's Well, try a holograph. All right, I'll give it a try. Let me, uh, prime the pump a little bit. <sighs> okay, yeah, I'm getting something now. He's on the Czechoslovakian ski team, number 18. Great, all right, give me a name and I'll, uh, I'll zip on into the bureau and get a make on this guy. No, no, no name, Bill. But he's definitely the guy that was passing information to Templeton. Right, okay, well, whoever killed Templeton and Blandon's gotta be coming after this guy. You're gonna have to just, uh, fly over there and grab him. Just fly over there? Bill, I can't just go over there and grab him. What if he doesn't want to defect? Of course you can. It's a free country, isn't it? Besides, if he's got some kind of a rotten commie reason that he doesn't want to come with you, then just drop a house on him. Oh, nice. A little leftover charm from CIA interrogation school. Now, one, two, three. Whoop. Go ahead. No! Do that without warning me. Ralph, where are you? No one is to leave their quarters. I cannot believe that you would be so foolish as to kill Agent Templeton before we knew who was passing him our information. 
We had no chance, sir. If Templeton was not killed, we'll risk another security leak. Agent Blandon was simply an added bonus. <laughs> Fool. Agent Blandon was top officer of the CIA. And thanks to your indiscretion, the CIA now knows that we are working this area. What do you have so far? Templeton was making contact with someone on one of our ski teams. And information was being passed at every World Cup event this past season. We are trying to uncover who the contact is and trace back from one person to another who is passing this information. And what if this person defects? Then we lose any chance of finding his liaisons back in Moscow. He won't, sir. He better not. I want a visual check on each of these rooms and on all of our ski races every 15 minutes. I will find out who our traitor is. I won't hurt you, I'm a friend. Where do we stay? Yakisi. Uh, do, do you speak English? Yes. I know you've been passing information to Scotty Templeton. He was shot and killed today on the slopes. I would like to help you get out of here before you're discovered. Now, you must trust me. Who, who are you? How did you get in here? Believe me, it really doesn't matter. But I want to assure you that I have the manuscript. It is safe. <sighs> Thank God. Now, I must help you leave right away. I can't leave. If I disappear, Karpov will know it's me. And they will kill Anna. Anna? Anna. Koryena, my fiancé. Captain of the woman's team, if I defect, they will kill her. Where is she? What? I don't know. Since this afternoon, they have kept us all separate. I will not leave without her. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Of, watch. You are still up. You must be ready for a race tomorrow. I oh, know. Sleep well. up this little igloo here in a second. Ah. Kaffer, you want to give me some of that biodegradable kindling there? Huh? Uh, better known as newspaper. One people, one planet, Bill. Uh, Harry Krishna, give me a break. Ralph, hmm? did you ever want to be one of those heavyweight downhill racer dudes uh, like that Stein, what's his face, skidding down a mountain? Erickson? Yeah. Ever you have a big tan, big teeth? Ever want to be like that? I'm way ahead of you, Bill. How are you going to get me in a World Cup downhill race? Well, I got you into World Series baseball, and you didn't do too bad. It's the same movie, just a different reel, that's all. Now, gather around, boys and girls. Well, Uncle Bill tells another story round the old Cracker Barrel. Now, Ralph, average old-fashioned variation on the old shell game. This race starts here, right? According to the map. And it goes all the way down from Promenade to Slingshot, across to Fast Draw, and down to Wiley's Draw. Now, both you and Paternick got on the red, uh, the red um, uh, ski clothing, right? And he's got a helmet on as well. So this is you. This is Paternick. Watch this one, folks. Paternick starts out. Top, going down, Promenade, slushing down. Shushing. Yeah, whatever. All the way down the course, down to Wiley's Draw, which is the only place on the whole course, during the whole race, that you won't be seen. I see. And at that point, I pull him over to the side, I switch helmets and racing bibs, and continue the race. Bingo. You win the race for the good old US of A, and uh, Sammy and I, we spirit young Yuri off through the bushes, and uh, that's it. It's real simple. <laughs> what about Paternick's girlfriend? 
You know, it's no problem. Cancel it. I mean, come on. When Ralph goes across the finish line as, as Yuri, Pachernik, I mean, the, they're going to go crazy down there. In the middle of the bedlam, you get a hold of uh, Anna uh, uh, Purina. Purina. Whatever, yeah, right. And get her out to the Jeep and back up here to the cabin. It's real simple. Well, wait, what, what if Pachernik doesn't want to defect? I mean, you know, this could be some kind of uh, uh, CIA propaganda to uh, make the communist movement look bad. But I know he wants to leave. Well, maybe, maybe not, but this country is not above dirty tricks. You know that. Right. I mean, look at the uh, Bay of Pigs, Kent State. Afghanistan, Poland. Vietnam, Nicaragua. Cuba, El Salvador, All Chicago, right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Come on, kids. Now, listen, Sam, you gotta, you gotta trust us. You gotta trust me on this one. I, I would love to trust you, but I'm beginning to think that that you are part of the establishment. I mean, look at your fancy ski boots, and I can't even believe it, Ralph. You want a Jaguar. Come on, wait a minute. Listen to me for a no, second, you Sam. Listen... Wait a second. No, you listen to me. You said if you aren't part of the solution, you're part of the problem. Now, is... do you still believe that? Yes, I believe it. But all I know is, Sam, that you can take all the clever slogans and the love-ins and the be-ins and the sit-ins and the whatever, and although they have a social impact, it's not near as immediate as this. This is immediate, Sam. We have an opportunity to take this man and give him his freedom. Now, that's immediate. That's here. That's now. OK, I'll, I'll do it your way. Thank you. Get that's a tree! Well, you stay cool! Cool? I'm frozen! Oh! Yuri Pachernik is in the starting gate, and I'm sure he's ready for this downhill final. And it's a nice stop. Pachernik's moving very nicely on his skis. Pachernik is on the course. Handled that compression perfectly again. He's holding an excellent line through the steeper section of this course. Hurry up and get to one's draw. Ralph, I handle the switch okay. Now we're going to lose sight of Pachernik for a little bit as he heads into Wiley's draw, the only section of this race course that isn't covered by our television cameras. Son, you're in a lot of trouble, what? but we're going to get you out of it what? right now. Don't worry about your girlfriend. As soon as Rob crosses the finish line, she's going to slip out the back way and meet us up at the top of the hill. Okay, Rob, off you go. Come step, snap up. Come on. Now, something must have happened to Yuri Pachernik and Wiley's draw. Well, he should have skied out of there by now. Wait, no, 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 there he is. Whatever happened, Pichernik has lost so much time that a win here today would be impossible. What an outstanding effort by this young Czechoslovakian. I just can't believe it. Pichernik is just hanging it out on the ragged edge. Now he's heading into the final turn. Folks, our time is a puff Pachernik at just over 110 miles an hour. He's across the finish. This is unbelievable. Yuri Pachernik has won. It's what an outstanding effort. Wait a minute. Now, just like yesterday, Pachernik is walking directly off to the Czech team locker room. He's not going to talk to the press after Anna, oh he God. did it. Yuri is with us, Anna. He's defecting to our side, and he wants us to bring you to him. Who are you? A friend. Now, you've got to believe that. We can help you. Why should I believe you? We've got the manuscript, Anna. Now, we've got to go fast. Come on. Well done, Yuri. <laughs> que pasa? Get him! Come with us.
come in, Tarenikov. We've got trouble. Yeah. Yuri is the traitor. He still must be on the course. I think I may have spotted them. They're on a snowmobile headed east. I'll follow them and keep you advised. Get here soon. Everybody back on the floor. Oh, on the floor, kid. effective than violence. What do you think? Should we put them in the peace sign? Okay. Everybody out. Out the back door. Counselor, take him out. Where is he? Well, I uh, expect him any minute. Friends, this is to you. I don't have the words to thank you for what you have done for us. Try thanks. That'll do it. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you. So, Yuri, do you have any plans? You know, you should think about becoming a coach. The U.S. ski team could use some help preparing for the Olympics. Nay. I think Anna and I will continue this taraga. Free the people from the bonds of... Ms. Kiriana, Mr. Paternik, we have a car waiting to take you to the airport. Again, my friends. I thank. Goodbye. Goodbye. Well, Maxwell, it seems the Central Intelligence owes you boys at the Bureau of Thanks. Any time, Mr. Klein. Hinkley. Okay. Now, Ralph, it's celebration time. Got a bunch of margaritas here, got teeth in them, bite a hole straight through a rock. Now, you know me, and I'm not strong on offering too much praise for the truce, but I gotta tell you guys, you were terrific this time. Davidson's out there running the backup better than ever before. I've had the practice, Bill. Ralph, you run any scenarios now like you wrote them. I can't figure it out. And my uh, little flower child, Samantha, for a kid that doesn't eat any meat, you really did terrific. <laughs> Sam, let me ask you, how does it feel to know that you've made the planet a better place to live in by saving another human being from repression? It feels really far out, Hink. Now I just have to figure out how to save the whales. Oh, brother. 